Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. Our bucket list goal is to get to 100 countries before we die. In 2020, prior to COVID, we've been travelling around Central America. And one of our most favourite destinations we've come across so far has been Guatemala. From ancient Mayan ruins and UNESCO World Heritage sites, to spectacular volcanoes and gorgeous natural pools and lakes, there's just so many fun things to do in Guatemala. And in this Guatemala travel guide, we'll be sharing our top five things to do in Guatemala. Let's go. The best adventure experience in Guatemala has to be the Acatenango Volcano Hike. This overnight trek takes you up Acatenango Volcano and from there you can get up close and personal with the very active Fuego Volcano. You can hike up to the summit of Acatenango Volcano for some glorious sunrise or sunset views. Or for a bit extra you can actually hike onto Fuego Volcano itself. Climbing Acatenango Volcano is not for the faint hearted. It is a very steep four hour hike at altitude on a gravelly and uneven path. Unless you hire a person or a donkey to carry your pack for you, you'll be carrying around 10 kilos of water, food and clothing for your trip. We did the Wicko and Charlie overnight hike. They are one of the more established tour companies for Atatenango Volcano. This tour is extremely well run and their guides were very professional and helpful. One of the reasons we chose to do the Akatenango Volcano Hike with Wicho and Charlie's was that they have a permanent campsite set up on the volcano in a prime position for the best views of Fuego. There's nothing quite like sitting at a campfire under the stars watching the glow of lava erupting from a nearby volcano. For more details of this amazing Guatemalan experience, check out our video on Akatenango Volcano. For a more relaxed pace, we recommend Lake Atitlan, Guatemala. This must-see Guatemala destination is set in a massive volcano crater in the Guatemalan highlands. There are three volcanoes that overlook the lake, which makes for a spectacular backdrop. We spent three nights here and it wasn't nearly enough. When exploring Lake Atitlan, Guatemala, you should definitely take a ride on a public road boat to get from one village to the next. The lake covers a large area and it takes about half an hour by boat to get from one side to the other. There are four main areas in Lake Atitlan that most travellers explore. Panahachal, which is the launch point for entering the area and has a wide variety of restaurants and accommodation. If you only have time for one destination along the lake, then this should be it. San Marcos has a distinctive hippie vibe. So if you want your chakras balanced or past life regression, then this is the place for you. San Pedro is known as the main backpacker attraction. You are guaranteed to have a great time here without breaking the budget. Santa Cruz is a more tranquil area with a local village up a very steep hill. We love this area to chill out in, take a dip and admire the breathtaking views of volcanoes surrounding the lake. If you want to find out more about what to do in Lake Atitlan, check out our Lake Atitlan guide. Samuk Champé is the hidden gem of Guatemala. The natural monument Samuk Champé is a series of stunning turquoise pools set in a lush tropical jungle. We can't think of a better way to spend the afternoon than swimming in this tropical paradise. While you're here, don't miss the waterfalls and the Samuk Champé cave tour. Visiting Samuk Champé requires a bit of effort to get there, as it is a full day's travel to get there from either Flores or Antigua. And in the final hour to get to Samuk, you'll be standing up on the back of a pickup truck. However, for lovers of off the beaten path travel, this is one of the top things to do in Guatemala. For more on this beautiful location, check out our Samuk Champé vlog. Antigua is a great place to base yourself when visiting Guatemala. This UNESCO heritage site was the old capital of Guatemala. It is a charming Spanish-influenced city in the central highlands of Guatemala. We loved its relaxed vibe, the wide variety of great food on offer, and the spectacular views of nearby volcanoes. A must-do in Antigua is to get a photo under the iconic Santa Catalina Arch. 
If you have a sweet tooth, then you can't come to the birthplace of chocolate without trying some locally made chocolate. There are plenty of chocolate shops and even a museum to sample. For shopaholics, you could easily lose yourself in the huge Antigua markets. They sell everything you could possibly think of. For more ideas on what to do in Antigua, see our video on the top five things to do in Antigua, Guatemala. The ancient Mayan city of Tikal is a must-visit destination in Guatemala. This relic of Mayan civilization is located deep in the Guatemalan jungle, which makes for a striking setting. This atmospheric setting, as well as its sheer scale, sets it apart from the majority of other Mayan ruins in Central America. There are four main temples to visit, and you're able to scale a couple of them for some amazing views across the jungle. We can understand why it was chosen as one of the filming locations for Star Wars A New Hope. We couldn't help but have a bit of fun with lightsabers while we were here. For more on the Tikal Mayan ruins, watch our guide to visiting Tikal. Thanks for watching our Guatemala travel video on the top things to do in Guatemala. What places did you like the most? Do you agree with our list? Are there any amazing destinations in Guatemala that we've missed here? Let us know in the comments below. We hope this video has provided a lot of useful information on where to go in Guatemala and will come in handy when planning your own Central American trip. And if you liked this video, please give it a like. We'll be uploading a new video each week. So to get more great travel inspiration, don't forget to subscribe. We are the Bucket List Travelers. Signing off for now. See you next time. See you next time.